Welcome to Steve from Finland Paranormal here. We are actually on our way to Marshall, Illinois to investigate Hatchet Man. I have with me... This is Anthony here from Pendulum Paranormal Timeline. Guys, this location is going to be crazy tonight. Looking hellish as forward to this one. Stay tuned on this one, guys. Okay, so the story of this cemetery is there was a caretaker that took care of the cemetery. They lived in a cabin in the woods. One night he went nuts and he killed his whole family. After he killed him, he cut him up with a hatchet and he actually put their bodies and pieces down the well beside the cabin. Just like Misty said, you know, this uh, this individual kind of was a caretaker. He was a caretaker for the cemetery and he uh, lived across the street in the cabin and uh, he went crazy. Not for sure what happened, but uh, he wind up uh, uh, killing this entire family and hatching, uh, took a hatchet to him and buried him in the well. And he's been said that he uh, still roams the cemetery at night. And uh, what's some of the stuff that you, that's uh, some of some of the lore that's coming out of here with paranormal? What's some of the paranormal activity that's coming out of here? Do you know? So supposedly some people that live around the cemetery, some people in the hometown, say that he obviously, like Anthony said, still roams the cemetery, but at night you can supposedly see him. And they also have these two wolves that actually set on each side of the stairs as you enter the cemetery. And supposedly a story was said that if they are not there, they are actually helping him in the cemetery, protecting the place and him. So we will see what happens. Now one of the things is this, is it wolves or is it hell dogs? I mean, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna be hell dogs. I'm thinking they're, the, they're dogs from hell that actually guard the cemetery, you know. Whatever it is, it's not good, you know. It's not gonna be a good entity. It's not gonna be, they're not gonna want us there right off the top. But uh, I'm hell just looking forward to this one. And uh, really interested to see what we pick up and get out to you guys here. So stay tuned on this one. I want you to be in there with the story, what it used to be in If you don't want me put it in there, I won't, but. All right, here, we met this individual. He's a local to the area, actually. And uh, him and his buddies used to come out here uh, to the cemetery back in high school. They happened to bring a Ouija board and it's walking up this stairway here, but he said when he got to the top of that stairway right here, what happened to the Ouija board, my friend? Now one of my buddies got up there about even with the top of the steps there right when you get into the cemetery, and that some bitch just took off flying towards the back of the cemetery there. Like he got ripped out of his hands. You took off like a bat out of hell, didn't you? What they did, hell yeah, we weren't sticking around. That's an awesome story, man. A lot of spooky shit that was on out here supposedly. You said when you was a kid, actually, you actually saw a man when you was a kid out here, too, a full body apparition. Yep, looked like a guy walking down the road in a long trench coat, it looked like. He got about probably 30 yards away from us, and Grandma was trying to start her car to get out of here. And I turned around and saw him, and he looked like he was walking down the road towards us. Her car finally started, and we took off, and uh, I turned around again, and he was gone. Gotcha, brother. All right, man, appreciate your story. No Thank you. So here we are, Mackey Cemetery, also known as Hatchet Man. These are the stairs to enter. This is the folklore. I mean, this it was the truth, right? But the man had, he was a caretaker of this cemetery. And he was a caretaker of this cemetery. <laughs> he lived in the cabins and I think that is the
turn the next furnace on. Now we at the right place. Is this hatchet man? <clears throat> Is this hatchet man? Where are you at, partner? Where you at? Where's your cabin at? Why are they just over the first one? Looks like to me that, uh. What? What? Where is who? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? What? Pull it out. No, I think she said, why don't you go to the house? I'm looking for the house. Where's the house at, partner? Where's your cabin at? I don't see it. We gotta find that cabin, you know what? Yeah. I think it's down there. Oh. You said you had to go around it, don't you? So, why? This one? No, that's a Mackie. You want us to go to the cabin? That's Mackie. All right, everyone, we're back here at Mackey Cemetery here, Hat, known as Hatchet Man Cemetery. It's about to get dark, and we're about to do our solo walkthroughs here. This place is about to be insane. Let's do this. There's something about when the lights, you know, something about when the sun goes down. That's when the BS stops. This cemetery is creepy. I'm gonna run a nap. It's called Necrometer by Necrophonics. What we're gonna run this evening. False. What's false? What's the story? Hatch a man's story false? <clears throat> Is the old hatchet man story false? So they say you got to walk down to the end of this wrought iron fence, touch it, come back, and he's supposed to be coming chasing after you. <clears throat> Tell you what though, sun goes down, pretty creepy. On the table. On the table? Where? Probably be going to IR mode here in a few Hello. minutes. Carolyn. Oh yeah. Anybody can tell me something? Is the old hatchet man story true? Sarah. What 
What about Sarah? Corner. Corner. All right, guys. Sun's going down real fastly. We got adjusted pretty quick. Back out of here. Tell me something. What can you tell me? Can you tell me anything? What about the corner and Sarah? Where's the old hatchet man at? All right, everyone, we're back here at Mackey Cemetery here, hat, known as Hatchet Man Cemetery. It's about to get dark, and we're about to do our solo walkthroughs here. This place is about to be insane. Let's do this. at night. Very deep. Now he's wanting to go run back and touch the iron bar. Oh. <laughs> There's a step there, honey. <laughs> God, it feels like the cemetery is like going like this, trying to walk up it. It does, like it's pushing you back. Don't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's like, it's not ending. I mean, you've already catched up, you know. I always don't know where to walk. I feel like I'm gonna be walking this way. You probably are. Lights um, are definitely fading fastly. Yes, that was a veteran, because he has a flag there. Obviously. So, the story is, they don't know if the caregiver is actually buried here, or buried behind the house across the street in the woods that unfortunately somebody has brought the property so we cannot see that. What do you got to say for it, Abby? Nothing. I don't I can't put my input. Why? Why? Sun's going down really fastly. Step on grave, bro. Oh, we're stepping on the grave. Batteries are out of that. I didn't even know that. There's not a single battery in it. Well, we're not going to do a rim pot. Hold that, Abby. It was like something moved by that. Tombstone. Try an EVP, what do you think? We could try one, but we're going to get a lot. It's hard with the crickets, you know what? Smell that. It smells like french fries. Do you smell that too? It smells like McDonald's french fries. Wow. That was weird. Just got a whiff of McDonald's french fries. Oh, that's right. But McDonald's can never get them salty. Oh, that's pretty All right, we're going to do an EVP session here real quick. Where's Hatchet Man at? Is the old caretaker of the cemetery buried here? Are you buried behind your house? Is it true what they said? You killed your family? Chopped them up with a hatchet and put them down the well? Who else wants to come up and speak to that device? I 
heard a voice, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Of you guys heard that too? Of a woman? Came from over there. Hmm. There you go, you wanna hold it for a minute? Don't we have batteries like this or do we try to buy them? There's light over there. Alright, we're gonna do an EVP session here real quick.